Hi friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Techie Sub. So today's tutorial is all about how we can automate the Microsoft web browser embedded in an Excel. So there are a, there is a concept that we can embed the Microsoft web browser into an Excel. So what is the advantage of that? So the main advantage is like when you do some actions, if you have an output of so many uh, columns and rows, you don't have to download in Excel and all those things. You can directly paste it into a sheet of the same workbook. So actually it will be easy to manipulate the data and work with the data because you are getting the output in the same, uh, uh, same uh, you are out getting the output in the sheet of the same workbook. So it's easy to cross check and all those things. So I'll be just, uh, showing you how you can add the web browser and how you can just automate it that's all so uh, so actually you need this developer tool to uh, have the macros uh, written for this so i have already created this excel file in the xlsm format so then it will be easy to uh, write the macros and uh, so i am going to the developer tab and um, visual basics so before you do something you need some references so the basic references you need is this microsoft 16 object library oily automation and then you need microsoft html object library so that is required if you want to uh, interact with html link element and all those things so we will be adding this microsoft html object library so these, these are the references that we will be making uh, use of in our demo. We don't need the Selenium type library because we are not going to deal with the web driver. So that's pretty much about the references that we need. Then we have to add the Microsoft web browser. So in the insert you have this more controls. Click on this more controls. And find out the Microsoft web browser. So this is the Microsoft web browser. Click on OK and actually just create or uh, uh, have it in a sheet so you have a web browser available in your excel and you can see it's embed uh, shell.explorer.2 okay so this is the excel that you have and this is the web browser inside the excel but some cases when you do this you will be getting some error like cannot insert an object so the error message that you will be getting is something like cannot insert this object so in those cases what you have to do you have to go to this uh, reg edit it's like hk local machine software microsoft office click to run registry machine software then you have to go to this compatibility and you have to find out this key and you have to change this flag value so when you change this flag value it will be uh, compatible with the web browser and then you can just uh, you can just uh, use it in the excel itself so how you can search is like just search for how to make microsoft web browser object work in excel 2016 so if you search with that then you will get this stack overflow page and you can just uh, find out the right edit and change the flag so once that is done you will be able to insert uh, the browser in the uh, excel and then we will be creating a button so we will uh, do this action when we click on this button and we will have it something like trigger and we will write our piece of code so i have already got a small piece of code which which will trigger the web browser so i will just uh, walk you through the code so you can see I have an I am creating an object of web browser as I have already told it is not a web driver it is a web browser then what I will be doing is in sheet 1 I will be just uh, selecting my web browser you can see it is web browser 1 and then I have an HTML link element so it's like the links or the elements that we have in web then I am vis making it uh, visibility true then I am navigating to Google uh, then I'm waiting for BC. So uh, it, I will wait until the object is BC. So once that BC state is over, I will come out of the do while loop. Then I will click on, uh, no, I will try to enter the value into the Google uh, search box automation and then I'm clicking on button that is Google search. So since uh, why I'm using the for each is because I am getting the elements. It's not an element. So I'll be getting the elements. So I have to, um, 
uh, go through that elements and find out which is the value that I have to uh, select. Uh, so if it is an ID then I will be only having one value but if since it is an element I will be having multiple values and so that's pretty much about the code and so it's like uh, you go into the URL enter the uh, automation text and click on search button uh, so I will be so you can see now it's nothing is there so when I click on this button too so you can see that the automation is clicked and then you have got the result so that it's it's uh, pretty much simple but you have to make sure that you have all the references available and uh, you have the correct piece of code so with that i finish my uh, i complete my video thanks for watching the video have a good day bye